Malfeasance goes to the highest levels of the U.S. government, including the Pentagon, whose Protective Services Battalion is now monitoring all social media activity in the U.S. to track critics of woke generals. Some say this agency is the American equivalent of an undercover secret service. And according to a U.S. Army procurement document dated to September 1st of last year, the battalion's mandate is being expanded to examine social media for direct, indirect, or, and here's the kicker, veiled threats against American military personnel. What does that mean? Just having a different political opinion? Now, this abuse of power under the guise of stopping terror won't stop until lawmakers intervene, plain and simple. Until we elect people who will actually go after the DOJ instead of just getting those fiery sound bites we're sick and tired of, that ended more funding for these corrupt agencies where nothing ever changes. Changes. We can sadly expect just more federal law enforcement to exhibit more left-wing partisanship by opening investigations into law-abiding conservatives. Case in point, we're still dealing with the bogus prosecution of the January 6th defendants. That's why the nonprofit organization Look Ahead America is offering $1,000 to anyone who will ask political candidates in the upcoming 2024 U.S. presidential election season about what they will do for the January 6th political prisoners. Here's the organization's leader making his offer online. I'm Matt Brainerd, executive director of Look Ahead America, and I want to pay you $1,000. Here's how you can get it. Be the first to submit video to us exclusively of you asking one of our recognized presidential candidates the J6 question. The J6 question is exactly as follows. I'm a volunteer for Look Ahead America, and I want to know what you're going to do for the January 6 political prisoners, especially those who've not been charged with any violent acts. You and the candidate must appear on camera together, and they must hear you clearly. No shouting the questions from across the room. And please do not do anything illegal in pursuit of this question. The candidates we've designated are Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Tim Hutchinson, Tim Scott, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, Asia Hutchinson, Mike Pence, Chris Christie, Doug Burgum, and Cornell West. You can submit these videos exclusively to us at lookaheadamerica.org slash J6 question. I encourage you to ask this question of all candidates for federal office, House and Senate, incumbent and challenger, Republican, Democrat, third party, or no party. But we're only going to pay the bounty on questions asked of these designated presidential candidates. If more of them get into the race, we may expand that list. If you believe in what we're doing, holding the highest office in the land accountable for the greatest civil rights tragedy of our day, please support us at lookaheadamerica.org with your tax-deductible contribution. Joining us now to discuss is Matt Brainard, the executive director of Look Ahead America. Matt, thanks for being here tonight. Happy to join you. Great, so is this question about the J6 political prisoners, do you think that this could be or should be the litmus test for any candidate seeking that Oval Office? I think it's important that we get them all on the record. You know, over the last two years, news organizations like yours, your show specifically, and Look Ahead America have done the hard work of educating the public of the political persecution of these individuals. The vast majority of them did nothing violent. They just walked into a public building, not even knowing that they shouldn't be there. And because of that, they've been scapegoated as insurrectionists and used as the excuse for the administration to target patriotic Americans, be it at school board meetings or in the military or elsewhere. So now that we have the public and the plurality at least on our side and sharing our viewpoint of these people being political prisoners, now it's time to hold the people, the one person in fact, who can do something about this, the next president, accountable. So we're trying to get all of them on the record. And I encourage all the people in your audience, especially if you're in a state like Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada, or anywhere that one of these presidential candidates shows up, please ask them a question. We gladly pay you $1,000. There are 14 candidates. So we thankfully, we have the budget. Good donors have stepped up and helped us out so that we can fund this project. And I wish it was more than 1000 I wish it was 10000 But we're doing everything we can to get these people on the record so that the electorate can know what they're going to do about this very important issue.